what it do, YouTube. It's your dog, Spray Paint, back at you with another video. The other half of his time for that Culture for the Street podcast. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell, man, so you can be updated on all my videos. So this video here is about my dog, my brother from another mother, man, Nelson Kirkland. One of the most real, genuine brothers I done met from Southside, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people are not familiar with the hoods in Augusta, Georgia, Southside. That's a project that's probably like three minutes away from where my project was on 15th Street. But what's the crazy thing about it is my project and his project always was bumping heads like the Hoovers in the in neighborhood, you know what I mean? Like. It always was fighting, you know what I mean? But in the process of it all, as years went by, you know how it is when you go to jail and you meet niggas from the other hood. Them be the most solidest niggas in the world. Be more solid than most of the homeboys that you grew up with. And Nelp Dog, he kind of reminded me of Tape Dog. Like, he always had my back. And even during the rough times when my hood was getting into it, with his hood, he used to be like, bruh, nigga, you in Nelp, dog. Nigga, nigga ain't gonna whoop, 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 whoop. You feel me? And it was vice versa because he would come to my hood too. You feel me? But in the process of it all, we done got money together on First Avenue and everything, bro. Like, bro, he used to, he 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 was one of them kind that used to stick his arm in the pot. You did what I'm saying? I know that's probably might go over a lot of y'all here who can't who can't keep up with the lingo. But yeah, bro had his arm in the pot. He was a get money nigga. But in the process of it all, you know, allegedly. They saying that a female ended up get, uh, getting my dog killed. But to sum it up, I'm glad I was able to see my nigga before I got on that plane. Because I had done washed my hands with trying to trap and, you know, live the street life in my hometown. Because I was like, I'm going to try something new. But before I left... I made sure that I went down there, the small world. A lot of people don't know what small world is. That's from out of town. That's like the same hood as Southside. It's just the outskirt. But I went down there and seen my nigga and uh, just to chop it up with him because I knew what my mission was. I knew I, that I was going to do whatever I had to do to survive instead of coming back home. And I'm glad I was able to see my nigga, even though he passed away. Uh, he got killed when I left. I had to deal with that. I'm still, I, I still, I'm still mourning behind it. I just got a mask on my face. But uh, yeah, I had, you know, long live Nelp dog, bro. You feel me? Long live, long live my nigga. He was a real solid nigga, man. So it's a must. I give him his flowers because he was one of them ones. If, if I needed him, he was there. It was vice versa. You did what I'm saying? But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section, man. I'm gone.